My name is Ramiel Malubai. I'm 20 years old from Miramar, Florida, and I auditioned in Miami. When I found out I was in the top 24, when they told me, I kind of like slapped my face and did the home loan thing, and it really hurt. And then um, I kind of like stood up and sat down a whole bunch of times because I really didn't know. I thought she was psyching me out to tell me I wasn't going to make it. I don't know. I didn't know what she was thinking. And then when I made it, kind of freaked out a little bit, went downstairs, and they told me I was just like, I had this like plain look on my face because I didn't know how to take it yet. It still hasn't hit me. I'm not all like, oh, yeah. Maybe it'll hit me when I'm, like, walking down the street. first started singing when I was 12, I think it was, for my cousin's birthday. Like some big ball thing. It's like a quince, but for Filipinos. I can play the piano. I took piano for five years, but I can't read all the hard notes anymore. But I, I'm, I learned the guitar. My sister was teaching me. Not too good at that, but, you know, I can. I, I did hula dancing, Polynesian dancing, since I was in first grade. It's not really odd. But yeah, that um, that's it. If I don't become the next American Idol, I really don't think I'm gonna get all discouraged or anything and be like, oh, I'm never gonna sing again. I mean, like, of course it's a big experience. You know, you learn all this up until you know the point that you get taken off, and you you just take what you've learned and grow from it. And I'm probably gonna go back to school for nursing because <laughs> I had to stop. I want to be the next American Idol because I wanna like it's not so much like oh I want to be famous. But I, I want to represent for Asian people. And um, I want to just live my dream. I mean, singing in the shower is a whole lot different than singing on stage in front of all those people. My favorite performer is Regina Velasquez. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm like any other of the former contestants. I don't know why. I just I don't see myself like anybody else in like the past seasons. I don't know. I'm just like me. People would be surprised to learn that instead of singing in the shower, I like put music on like random songs like Spice Girls and stuff and I dance in the shower. It's kind of personal, but yeah. I kind of never want to work in retail again. I hate that look. Doo doo. Like when you can hear people walk in to the to the fitting rooms and it counts like it's so annoying. And some kids will just like rock back and forth like doo doo doo. It's so annoying. I heard it in my car even when I left work. I just never want to work in retail ever again, putting people's clothes back. That was horrible. I didn't even fix my closet, so. The weirdest thing I've ever eaten, balut. It's like a, it's like a, I think it's a duck egg. It's cooked, but there's a baby inside. A baby, like, bird thing. And you're supposed to, like, eat the whole thing. It's kind of gross. I don't know. I don't eat it anymore because of the bird. But, yeah, it tastes good if you eat the outside part instead of the baby inside. Just throw the baby away. The most embarrassing thing I've ever done on stage, I slipped. Uh, I was wearing heels because I swear, low pe short people should stay like low to the ground. That's why God made you short, you know. But like I went on stage, I was wearing like stilettos. I, was, I went to go turn around, slipped, I was wearing a dress. It was not cute. My parents are really supportive. If I ever have like a singing gig or whatever in Orlando, in Tampa, wherever, like they'll take the day off from work or the weekend off and they'll drive me there. It's a lot of money, you know, like, just gas isn't just, like, cheap anymore, you know. They just, they'll drive me anywhere. They'll take me shopping for clothes or, and my dad has sacrificed a lot. Like, I'm not a minor anymore, so my parents aren't allowed to come, you know, obviously to the, to the auditions and everything. But he'll, he flew to California during Hollywood Week, stayed at another hotel, and just came to see me for dinner and stuff. Just, like, f support, you know, because I feel weird when my family's not in the same state. And my sister is, like, the only person who can tell when I'm off-key. Even though, like, you can, I can try to cover it up, she'll make the ugliest face. She'll be like, and like in the audience, and I'll be like, <laughs> you're not supposed to do that. She's like, well, you sounded horrible, but it's good because she she critiques me, and I get better from it. Hi, I'm Ramiel, and I'm the next American Idol. Vote for me.